let's see what's coming your way and we do have the hierophant and the two of pentacles in reverse somebody abandoned uh, or let go of a marriage of some sort a commitment of some sort a relationship looks like we are still married here with the hierophant but two of pentacles in reverse is kind of like giving up maybe a Taurus or god a capricorn you are dealing with and you know what they've been nurturing and loving taking care of you or the family or god knows you know and um uh, they might be about to give up they are still there we have the king of pentacles upright um knight of swords in reverse they might be a little bit passive aggressive right not moving much not talking much uh, maybe giving you the cold shoulder the silent treatment for now it has an energy of rushing and stopping, rushing and snapping, but they still love you. Such very the lovers, Gemini energy and the Hierophant. At the end of the day, that is still love and the commitment was real, right? That's energy we are picking up. Might be a Gemini you are dealing with, so. The Hierophant and the Queen of Swords, I know. Somebody is cold, I know. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, for, for some of you might be, um, you know, um, an air sign. But I kind of feel that all the love became a little bit cold. So let's see why and let's see the outcome of it. I'm going to take it. And of course it is the Hierophant because I wanted to come out. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I'd say some food for thought there. Somebody is really about to give up. Can, can be you. Um, and the two of wands in reverse, right? Three of, four of pentacles in reverse, giving up on a foundation, letting go of something that was very dear to us. And king of wands, you show up here. No expectations, not making real choices, but somehow disconnecting slowly. The hierophant is still, right? An energy where the commitment is still present. Maybe um, contracts, legalities of it are still going on. But it is, somebody is about to give up, so let's see what's going on. Past energies, current energies. Um, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energies on your side, the person and the mutual or the energy of the connection. And let's see the possible outcome. And I see, and I say possible because you always have free will. And I count on you to use a better judgment. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, lack of effort in the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Somebody's not giving their best at this time, I would say. And Four of Pentacles, it has this energy where it's like, yeah, I can see myself, you know, continuing the journey by myself. So. <clears throat> So let's see what's going on. So, um, such as in the past, we stopped fighting for someone. We do have the strength in reverse, can be a Leo, and the seven of wands in reverse. We just stopped fighting, right? Seven of wands is um, kind of the energy of protecting my territory and being, um, it has an energy of ego with the strength in a sense that this is my home, you know, a sense of pride and a sense of... Um, um, strongly believing, you know, that uh, they are the one that, that is loving it. Um, strength is a lot of, um, it's a lot of taming too. So probably we got at some point, um, you know, tamed and we got frustrated afterwards. And we said, you know what, the hell with it, right? That's a seven of swords. I stopped fighting. This is not something, if it goes away, I don't care, honestly. But the commitment is still there, right? So you might um, still be in, in this connection with this person. They might still be, you know, there for you. So you got stuck. They got stuck. For that matter, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in reverse, and the Chariot. Stuck and stagnant. It has this connection. Of, it has this energy of... From time to time, this person would feel like breaking free and just leaving it there, you know? It's like the chariot is really um, a quick shift in movement and it's um, moving away, breaking free, no norms, no boundaries, no nothing, you know, just wanting to just live elsewhere. Um, but then there is um, some instability issues, might be money problems, queen of pentacles in reverse, she's not, a, she's not abundant. Uh, um, they might need you. They might need that commitment. Four of Pentacles, an energy of um, doing it for the money or uh, for the stability of it, for the foundation that we've built. 
um, you know, being uh, continuing to be there and choosing not to for some of you. They choose not to uh, walk away because of um, because of money and uh, financial stability. But the communication was awful, right? Three of Swords, Page of Swords. Harsh communication, harsh words. Um, insults, right? Um, Three of Swords, a lot of painful communication and um, harsh words um, without really wanting or meaning to. Uh, but saying it just because we know it touches a button to the other person or, um, you know, we make them react in some in some way. So... Um, bad dynamic, I, I would say, right? It was a little bit of a mess. Um, so such size, where are we right now? Nine of Cups in reverse with the Three of Wands. It's not what we want and we don't have expectations. I got you, you know? In a sense, it's like we, whatever happens, you know? I, I, I feel that we are going on with this commitment with the Hierophant. Uh, I feel like we are, we, you know, we may be about to give up, but... Um, you know, we don't have expectation either, so we keep going, and um, it has this energy of somebody really considering money, love, future, investments, deeds, right, happiness, taming, it has this energy like I'm frustrated with life and everyone else. Um, such that it has so far this and this uh, this feeling of I'm at crossroads, but I can't give up and I can't move on. I can't choose freedom, but I can't choose to stay. You know, and the in between, it's kind of um, you know, kind of the annoying and the unhappy part of it. Well, this person of yours bound to you, prisoner of you. Um, Sagittarius, Eight of Swords, End of Their Own Mind, and the Four of Wands in Reverse. Somebody is, uh, I don't want to say stuck in a marriage, because in the same time they are stuck in their head and seeing obstacles to separating, right? They see plenty of obstacles to separate, plenty of obstacles to um, to let go of, um, of the marriage that you guys had. And it does look like a traditional one. can be a commitment that feels traditional, people living under the same roof. Um, that's a four of wands, um, but in the same time bound to, bound to the commitment, bound to you, prisoner of the commitment, prisoner of you, right? And sometimes it's um, stressing out, swords, uh, we know, right, is the prison of the mind, so it's not an easy comforting energy, but in the same time is a choice, right? So they feel committed, they feel bow bound, and they feel imprisoned. Um, and such serious love hurts, I would say. Uh, right at the core of the reading, we do have the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. That is love, but that is also tons of heart. Um, betrayal, harsh words, Three of Swords in the past, Ten of Swords. Right now, we are definitely not in a happy marriage, not in a happy couple. Um, we have energies, a Two of Wands in reverse. I mean, you embrace here in the overall energy, Two of Wands in reverse. We are at crossroads, we have to make a choice, and yet we are not making one. We start fighting by frustration because we didn't get what we want, and yet we are unhappy, right? So, And, um, and not having expectations for it to change, and yet having still emotions. Uh, I mean, Knight of Cups, we know it's my love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card, so it's um, one of the... I don't want to say one of the best, but it has... Um, it has, it's better than the King of Cups for me as a reader. Um, and yet it hurts, right? So, so, oops, so go figure. Um, such that is what we need to do here, right? Um, sorry, I'll take my, um, the sound off so we don't, uh, we don't disturb the reading. Let's see the outcome. We do have the Magician and the Two of Swords. Decisions for new beginnings. I feel such that is that in the, um, in the near time, in the near future, we have a decision and it is right time. The magician is a major arcana, so it's about lessons and pieces of advice and somebody needs to manifest new beginnings. Um, the outcome of it, actually, is the magic of new beginnings. And this person of yours, the devil, Capricorn energy, queen of wands in reverse. Um, they are entrapped. They are entrapped again, right? 
and and doing their best doing their best the devil is in reverse it is an energy of being aware of the toxicity of it of the um uh, the boundary is not really, um, you know, um, respected and followed. They have, you know, Queen of Wands in reverse, it has this energy of lack of passion, lack of action, lack of movement, um, and just entrapped, right? They are just entrapped in everything. And which uh, I cannot create this by my own. Look at this, Knight of Swords, twice, in reverse, both of them um as uh, energy is coming your way so i'm not seeing a lot of movement i don't see you making a move but i'm seeing some impulsive energies that we tr we are trying to control we are trying to be smart about not rush into anything over here um as this person again they are entrapped in their own mind entrapped in the in your energy in their energy in your energy combined and yet being aware that this is just not healthy okay so let's see as um, always the question should we say yay should we say nay things we need to work on so we need some harmony and balance to work on Sagittarius at this point we do have yin and yang we do have intimacy so that is something about intimacy and harmony we do have the devil this person might be highly jealous um, and uh, believing and and thinking that maybe, you know, you cheat on them and you have like a sexual partner outside whatever commitment you have. And the universe is asking you actually, you know, to look into some harmony and balance. We do have the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanations. So, such as that is a bond with this person. I don't feel the universe is sending you away or asking you, you know. To let go but you are asked to look into the intimacy aspect of it the union that you have with this person and we also have be authentic be real and true to who you are and how you feel and bottom of the deck appreciate this moment every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love so such as I feel that the universe is asking you to be 100% authentic. I don't know if you are really honest about the frustration you have about you abandoning or stop, uh, you know, about you stopping uh, to fight for this. The unhappiness you are in right now, you know, a sense of crossroads, manifesting new beginnings. The universe is really asking you to be authentic about and um, and to talk about and find love in this right in whatever frustration and and um, desperate moment you might have right now that is always love and i'm not talking about new connections i'm, I'm talking about the connection with this person how you handle all this i'm talking about intimacy and harmony and um, union and um, i feel that that is something if you feel you need to tell someone something well now it's the time let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow and we do have surrender defensiveness so defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more um, empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response we have joy so we need to bring back joy and happiness in this connection or in your life for that matter doesn't have to be with this person it's your choice the universe is saying right as long as you are authentic you can do it so um you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to everything you do we do have imagination and the magician is just that by the way i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind so it's kind of like the universe asking you to be creative about the joy in your life and to surrender i can release my need of control my need to control and bottom of the deck surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to, to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So, um, Sagittarius, I kind of feel the universe is saying the choice is yours and you do get the magician in the future. You are the master of your destiny. You are the artisan of your future. That's exactly the magician. And we have the Two of Swords in River. Stop contemplating and uh, start deciding. Um, so, hey, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. 
I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.